And then another representation is called, I have to take another color, canonical or standard form. So I really like more the term, st the term standard form because it's, uh, uh, it makes sense for me. So, the, but the canonical form is exactly the same thing. So we'll just call it standard form. And the standard form could be sum of a product form. So let's start with standard sum of products form. And it may look a bit tricky, so we will start with a simple thing. Let's say we have an expression, a very simple expression, A, B, C, negated plus A, B. Yeah, right. This is, as you can see, its sum of product term uh, form, uh, because we have sum of two products, this one and this one. But uh, it's not the standard sum of product form. The standard sum of product form is a form where each product has all the variables in that we have in the expression. For example, it's, it may sound a bit complicated, but it's super easy. You see, we have three variables here. We have A, B, and C. We don't have any variables anymore. Only A, B, and C. And uh, negated C. But that's the same. The point is that in standard form, you need to have all terms to have all of these variables. So you see this one, uh, this is done. It has all the variables in it. But this one, this one doesn't have C in it. There is no C there. So you may think that that's not a standard form. That's just a uh, sum of products form. Yes, but you can turn this expression into a standard one. You remember that uh, that one variable plus the same variable negated will equal to one, and we can do that for C. And we can do that for this term. You see, we, that basically means that C plus C negated equals to 1. And we can multiply this term by 1, right? And then express this one uh, with C, like this. So we have our old A, B, C negated, and then we have A, B. And then we have one that we can uh, express like C plus C negated. So we have bracket, like here, C plus C negated. So, and now we need to put it back into sum of products term, right? Sum of products rules, yeah. So we have A, B, C negated plus a B multiplied by C and then A B multiplied by C negated. And now we turned this expression from uh, sum of products, sum of products, right? Uh, term form, sorry, into standard sum of products term. That's what we did. Uh, because now in every term, in, in this one, and in this one, and in this one, we have all three variables that we had in the initial expression. And they are equal, of course, to each other. But you may say, what the hell, why did, why did we do that? We just made this uh, uh, expression more complicated. It, it looked much simpler. Yeah, right. We made it more complicated, but there is a funny thing about this uh, uh, 
complication. Now, as we have uh, three variables in each uh, term, that means all variables in each term, we can see it as a, as a truth table. Actually, now this expression is something like a truth table, because now we know that uh, this expression and the initial expression as well will be true when ABC negated is 1, or ABC is 1, or ABC negated is 1. The, the most cool thing about standard, uh, about both standard uh, uh, sum of product term form and just the usual sum of products term form, sorry. But here, let's, let's write what are the, the circumstances in which this expression will equal to 1. So it will be ABC should equal 1, 1, 0, right? In this, if you have this combination, then the whole expression will equal to 1, because this one, ah, you know that already, right? Then uh, it could be 1, 1, 1. Or it could be 1, 1, 0. In either of these cases, the result of this expression and then the initial expression, uh, it will equal to 1. And this is actually the truth table for, for this expression and for this expression. So, so let's write uh, the truth table for that. We had uh, three variables. A, B, C, yeah, and we have our expression. Yeah, I will, um, will not bother you writing it down. Uh, but it will work both for this one and for initial one. But the point is that, so let's write down all the cases. So it's 0, 0, 1. Uh, let's start with 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Uh, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, then 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, did I miss something? Have, yeah, we have uh, 8 of them. So, and we know already that our expression will equal to 1 in this case, or in this case, or in this case, right? So let's just find our cases in the truth table. 1, 1, 0 is this one. So we write 1. 1, 1, 1 is this one. So we also write 1. And 1, 1, 0 oh, again. Yeah, that's, that's so silly of me. But we have ABC negated twice here, right? So we can say that this expression will equal a, b, c negated plus a, b, c simply. Yeah, right, because uh, we have uh, two terms that are exactly the same and we remember that two exactly the same things, if we add them in Boolean algebra the result would be the same, like a plus a always equals a. And it was silly of me to miss that. And uh, the, the result is that this expression, the initial, and of course this one, because they are equal to each other, they will uh, equal to 1 in cases 1, 1, 0, and in case 1, 1, 1. So you actually can see that uh, standard sum of uh, products form represents uh, ideally the truth table. So we found out that uh, in, uh, in some in standard uh, standard sum of products for each each term each product represents one line in truth table that equals to one. So, directly from such an expression, 
we can build a truth table. And this is actually uh, a small uh, a way to express a truth table in short. Yeah? Right, and uh, of course all the uh, rest will be zero, as you might think. So that's the great uh, point of standard sum of products term. You can turn expression in standard sum of, pro of products and uh, it will be nearly exactly the same as the truth table, just written in line. But this example was uh, pretty, pretty simple. We can also try to put uh, our last expression from our last video into some products term. So we, we should try to do that. So let's do that right now. I will rewrite the expression, or I'll just copy it, some free space out here. And uh, what we are doing, I will remind you, we want to put this uh, expression into, into, some, into standard or canonical, that's the same things, sum of uh, products expression. Now it's only some of products, but it's not standard because not in every term we have uh, all the variables. So we have variables uh, yeah, A, B, C and D. We have four variables, but uh, not, uh, we don't have all of them in each term. And as you remember in the last example, what we did, uh, we multiplied uh, each term by uh, by one, yeah, and we expressed one as uh, uh, some variable plus some variable negated. It's always equal to one, as you remember, because either of them will be one, and another one will always be zero. But you remember that. Uh, the point is that uh, now we should do exactly the same with this expression. And in this expression uh, we miss uh, lots of variables in each uh, term, right? Uh, in first one we miss, we have a, b and we miss uh, c, d. So we should uh, multiply, multiply a, b by c plus c negated, which is 1 all this thing is 1. And then we should multiply it by d plus d negated, which is of course also equals to 1. So we can, uh, we can allow ourselves to multiply something by 1. We can do that twice, right? And uh, we have, and for this one we should multiply it, we are missing B, right? We are missing B. So we write A and then let's multiply it by 1, which is B plus B negated. I hope you are following me, right? Uh, and we have our CD here. And then the last one, we are missing, uh, we are missing A, so we can write uh, A plus a negated multiplied by B C D. Okay. Uh, now we can multiply all this stuff 